Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Class 6CC provides a loop view and several zoom tools to help you get a closer look at photos in your catalog. In the library module and the develop module, you can use the navigator panel to set levels of magnification for images displayed in the loop view. The first magnification level is displayed when you click to display the loop view. The second magnification level is displayed when you click on the image with the loop view already active. You can also display the secondary magnification level by pressing the space bar on your keyboard while you're in loop view. To set the first zoom level, expand the navigator panel. Then click either the fit or fill choice from the top of the panel. The active photo is displayed in the loop view. If you select fit, Photos will be displayed so that the entire image fits within the image preview area of the loop view. If you select fill, photos will be displayed so that the image fills the entire image preview area of the loop view. Notice that when you hover your mouse over the image preview area, the cursor turns into a hand tool and you can click and drag to display different parts of the image. You'll also notice that the navigator panel provides a thumbnail image showing what part of the photo is displayed in the image preview area. You can click within the Navigator Panel thumbnail to move to a specific part of the photo in the Image Preview area. To set the second magnification level, click within the Image Preview area in the Loop View. The photo is magnified further. When you look at the Navigator Panel, you can see it display the second zoom level. If 1 to 1 is displayed, then Lightroom Classic CC shows the secondary zoom level as 100% of the actual pixels in the photo. If 3 to 1 is displayed, then the image is shown at 300% of its actual pixel size. You'll also notice a Change Zoom Level drop-down menu to the right of the 3 to 1 option. You can click this drop-down to select larger and smaller secondary magnification levels. The last magnification level you select becomes the secondary zoom level until you select a different magnification level. After you set the secondary zoom, you can quickly switch between that magnification level and the first magnification level you set by simply clicking the photo within loop view. You can also toggle between zoom levels by pressing the space bar on your keyboard. As you toggle back and forth between magnification levels, the navigator panel shows you what zoom level is being displayed. You can use the navigator panel to quickly change the current zoom level and then resume toggling between magnifications. You'll also notice that the mouse pointer changes into a magnifying glass shaped zoom tool whenever it's possible to zoom in further on an image. You can also use the zoom commands that appear in the view drop down menu. You can select view zoom in from the menu bar to increase magnification of an image. Select view zoom out to decrease magnification. You can also use the zoom commands repeatedly. When you reach the maximum magnification for an image, the zoom in command becomes grayed out and unavailable. Similarly, if you decrease magnification to the point where the image display reverts to the grid view, then the zoom out command becomes unavailable. Lightroom Classic CC also provides a temporary zoom feature within the loop view. To temporarily zoom in on a photo in the loop view, press and hold down the spacebar on your keyboard. When you release the spacebar, the magnification will return to its prior display. You can also temporarily zoom in on a photo using your computer's mouse. To do this, click and hold the mouse button down to zoom in on a photo. While holding the mouse button down, you can drag within the image to pan the photo. When you release your mouse button, the magnification returns to its prior display. You can set Lightroom Classic CC so that the spot you click to zoom is centered in the image preview area. To set this feature, select Edit, Preferences from the menu bar. The Preferences dialog box then appears. In the Tweaks area that appears on the Interface tab, check the Zoom Clicked Point to Center option. Then click the OK button to preserve your choice and close the dialog box. You can also set Lightroom Classic CC to display an overlay of information on photos in the loop view. When you set this feature, information is displayed on photos in loop view in the library, in the loop view of the secondary window, and in several develop module loop views. To set this feature, select View, Loop Info from the menu bar. Notice that you can select between two different info sets to display, or just select Show Info Overlay. 
you'll then see information appear as an overlay on the photo. You can also press the I key on your keyboard to cycle through the information overlay. In other words, if you press the I key three times, Lightroom Classic CC displays Info Set 1, then Info Set 2, and then no information overlay. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.